What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Now you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolf. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never... Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. Don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. There's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Good boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back. Stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They'd think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. from the door my whole futile existence flashed before my eyes yeah they can be pretty aggressive oh, what a way to literally a dog's dinner still worse things happen at sea do they <laughs> well, I imagine perhaps wolves do better at sea are they good swimmers well who knows you have saved my poor foolish skin once again don't mention it well I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude, but no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir.
so much as a fleck round here. Holy shit. Unless she was run 83 plays and Texas fan and was ran 97. They're still playing. They're in the fifth overtime. Uh, Texas A&M and LSU. LSU has ran 83 plays, and Texas A&M has ran 97, and they're in the fifth overtime. That's crazy. Dude, this controller is fucking not. 
Oh, okay. You get a hold of one now. Is it your new one? Morning. Huh? Yeah, it's being a little temperamental for some reason. How is that food coming along, Mr. Pearson? Hey there, Arthur. Sandy, how are you? Well, they haven't killed me yet. No. Who ain't? The boys around here. Yeah, tough. They're good boys, most. It's the most thing I'm scared about. What? Don't be. You'll be fine. Won't bust down. Mr. Morgan. Hey. Either that or start praying real hard. Mr. Bell from a hanging? I'm sorry. Well, I suppose he'd do the same for you. Exactly. We're all in this together, Mr. Morgan. I know you know that. Of course, Miss Grimshaw. never got us that oil wagon, did you? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I clean for Fucker, forgot. pull your Don't gun worry. on me again, He's taken bitch. Care of. Otherwise, we'd miss that train. Thank you. You're still interested in the job, ain't you? Yes, 
but uh, I think we'll need another man. I like Charles Smith for this kind of thing. I'll get him. You meet us at the wagon when you can. There's an old burnout shack up near the border north of a place called Dewberry Creek. We stashed it there. Thank you. See, Arthur, even you make mistakes sometimes. Sometimes. Favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you, and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're. <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cake. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Lift you on when you're ready. Where should we stand? 
Nintendo for us, Nick. Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Just by the water there? You mean? I can't wait to get started. Some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nimbler. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Got one, Jack. Is it a big one? You see him fighting there, Jack? Still ain't heard when the line's careful. supposed to come out. The line. no. Just to wear him out first it's before really you really try to reel him in. Now, That's seems like sweet. he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. You okay there? I think so. This is hard. Yeah, I caught a fish. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should. Really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I did what it told me to do. What the fuck? You gotta stick at things, Jack. This one's a smallmouth bass. Not bad. <laughs> You gotta beat this one dude in a duel, and I can't. I'm doing what it tells me to do. Yeah, I know. Born as hell. Uh, but then, then into, like, something that. Press R2 or something. You can get food. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not shooting him. If you're lucky. Uh, you have to kind of like start then, to press it, but when you release it, sit, like wait, like when you slowly press it, try it's not like to him work. pulling it up to aim. And when it's you think you. you're high enough, you have to like release and it's shoot it. You don't shoot at him. No. Guess. Huh. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. 
What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. He just Agent killed Milton. himself. Agent Ross. Pinkerton detective agent. What the fuck? Seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's five thousand dollars for your head alone. Five thousand dollars? For me? Gonna turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. You have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow. But merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Can we go now, please? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Max? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you. Folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. this necklace ain't that pretty not the luckiest it... did you thank uncle arthur no need we had a good time what's wrong nothing just met some folk i better go speak with dutch okay hey you did real fine kid thanks we got a problem what i just met some guys out near the river a fella named, um, Milton, and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name, Ross. 
Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. If she's trying to scare us into doing something stupid, we have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Would you be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? Hey, real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> the stakes, huh? Come on. All right, let's Could do win it. real big. Aha! That's a good call, amigo. Shit, I gotta go halfway up there. Uh, All right. Real simple. First one to hit four flying birds wins. Stand near me. And as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah! There they go. Shoot! It was a good try, but maybe next time, huh? 
Listen, you need to pay me for your loss, okay? It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. Well, you scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at hunting. Yeah, I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Shaw doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yo, yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Huh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily tort again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. 
The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future, in all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy son. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? You planning on getting us there any time today? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop shooting. Easy. You're gonna hurt the horses. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. Come on, folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. They're left here, towards Rhodes. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now. In the gunner's seat. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scar-faced. A right barrel of laughs. So, we locked the tracks with the wagon, then jump. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Take charitable donations and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. Wire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth and get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run point. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this ride, nobody needs to die here. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, yeah. get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do a die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving.
I need to get up there. Finish up here and join us on board. Go on! Get on there! Hey! Blaster! All yours, Captain. Go on ahead. Everybody stay calm in there! You'll get shot! Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! Here we go. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving till this bag's full! This is unnecessary. I ain't got nothing. Wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? What's the problem here? Money! Hey! Don't do this! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay! Come on! Okay! In the bag, everything you got! Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. Just you seem to think we're we'll playing home. games. Hello. Uh, I want to count to three. I am going to pop off here. Why are you dying over? I... Tell him this, Jerem. Yeah, I'll try to get on with something tomorrow night. Oh, God. I... Here. I was ready to kill you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. You don't have... Guy, huh? You sure about that? No. You sure you go this ahead and look for the baggage car. Quick, out. come on! Please don't help me. Oh, everything you got. Money, valuable. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Don't. Money now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cop it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. What's that, huh? Okay. None of you. Folks. What is it? You all right? Deal with the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet. Probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> Double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Harsh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. Some decent stuff. All right, we should probably be going now. Come on, we should get out of here. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Hush, Schmidt, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberty. Eh? There's a few more to turn enough. <laughs> Okay, let's deal with them. We won't tell you again. Oh, shit, we got more ah. than that. Come on, come on, come on. The trees, you see them? Fuck you, damn. Coming in on horse! 
See what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. Please, we made some money. Now, yeah, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Still rolling from the road. Easy, easy. Chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I, I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? I... Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too, Arthur. Yeah. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Oh, so... You're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together. Like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> 
It helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe a shell. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear.